Most real estate agents have no idea how to sell a rental property. And Dave and Kale, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to take advantage of that and pull off a highly profitable Burr deal. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show on Holton Wise TV where I work with you guys directly, right? You guys get me and then my team uh, to work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you start, build, or grow your real estate investment portfolio. So if you're watching the show and you're not Dave and Kale, but you're interested in working with us in the same way, you can click the show notes below to get started. You can send my team an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. Give us your phone number. We'll give you a call. We'll talk to you about working with us in the same way. But for my guys, Dave and Kale, you guys are my big dogs. You guys are building a massive portfolio here in Cleveland. You guys are some oil and gas engineers uh, out there on the West Coast. And we've been putting together uh, a lot of burr type deals and then working on some like Section 8 rentals. And then this one popped up. I always keep my eye out for you guys. I know what you guys want. Uh, we've been building a lot of stuff here. So whenever something pops up uh, that I think is going to meet you guys' criteria, I like to hop on the show and make you guys a video. And I think this is good. 231 West River Road, Elyria, 44035. Been on the market 25 days, priced at a super low price, $34,900. Now, that is probably lower than it should be, but as I said at the top of the show, most real estate agents, man, they don't have any idea how to work uh, with rental properties, right? Most real estate agents, uh, you know, th their, their normal mode of operation is, oh, here's a family, let's find them a house to live in, right? They don't really comprehend uh, selling rental properties, selling rental investments. And what we have here, okay, uh, this is just a jacked up house. We don't have any pictures of the inside. Uh, all we've been given is the information uh, that there is currently a tenant and that tenant is going to be moving out. They're supposedly going to be out of this home on December 5th, 2020. As I talked to you guys today, it's 11-11-2020, right? So this guy listed this property about a month ago, right? So this guy listed it like what, like 10, 15, 10, 20, somewhere in there. Okay, this guy listed like 10, 15, 10, 20, and then says, hey, uh, we got a crappy tenant in there, but they're going to be out December 5th. Also, the house is all jacked up, okay? So, this, Dave, Kale, this is how we're going to take advantage of this. Number one, I think the price is already really low, right? If this, if this dude was <laughs> smart, they would just wait till the property goes vacant, and then they could allow a whole uh, buyer base to look at it, right? But what they're doing is they're cutting everybody off. Owner-occupants, they're no longer going to try to buy this because there's a fucking tenant in there. Rental property investors, not really that interested either now because we got a tenant in there who's probably not paying. So these people jumped the gun. They should not have listed this this early. So because of that, I think we could take advantage because we know uh, we're familiar with like what we have to do here. Worst case scenario, it falls into our strategy of these bird deals, right? Because after we get this tenant removed, and honestly, I think they'll let us make the deal contingent on the property being vacant. So I bet we could lock it up now so nobody else could steal it from us. It's 11-11. I bet we could lock it up now, set it for like a 12-10 closing date, and make it contingent on the fact that that tenant needs to be gone. But we're not really going to learn any new information when that tenant is gone because we already know that's a 3-1. I could put a Section 8 tenant in there at 1,000 bones a month. That's 12,000 a year. We already know, we've done this many times, fellas, the rent's going to be approximately a G. Our expense estimate for a home like this is going to be approximately 487 a month, leaving us with an average NOI of 513 a month or 6156 Now, what we want to do, we're going to push even harder. Even though this price is stupid low, we're going to push even harder. Let's try to pick it up for $30,000. And then I've renovated hundreds upon hundreds of these homes. We are just going to go ahead and put the budget right now at $30,000. 
$20,000 is going to be able to get us a full cosmetic reno, right? I don't exactly know what the tenant's done in there, but we know nothing ain't good. So at 20 k we could go in there, floors, walls, new fixtures in the kitchens, the baths, right? The whole interior, pretty much getting it ready, section 8, ready to rock and roll for 20 k we know the roof is screwed up. There is a note, a public, uh, like a broker note, saying that the seller may or may not try to fix a roof. So we know the roof's jacked up, right? So let's put another 5K into the fact that we're going to get a roof, right? That's 25000 of our $30,000 budget. Then we got a furnace. Well, that's a $3,000 cost. And then we got a hot water tank. That's a $1,000 cost. That's a $29,000 budget, leaving us with another 1000 uh, for this or for that, right? So 30000 should more or less cover what we need to do, right? It's very unlikely that anything more than that could need to happen in this particular home. Of course, when we inspect it, if there's like a major foundation issue, that kills the whole deal. But that, barring that solid deal, we could take advantage of the fact that they went early. We already know this information, right? So if we pick it up at 30, put 30 into it, you guys are all in for 60. I believe it'll appraise for 75. We'll get the Section 8 tenant in there paying 1,000 bones a month. That would be a 10.3 cap, but that's not the good part. The good part is the burr part, right? Burr, guys. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? That's where it's magical, okay? We're all into this for 60 because the agent jumped the gun. They shouldn't have listed the property at this time. They should have waited until they got all their ducks in a row. So it allows us to be in for 60. We get it to appraise for 75. The bank will give us a fixed interest, low interest, 30-year loan. They will loan us back 56250 Thus, Dave and Kale, leaving you two with only 3750 into the deal. That, my friends, would be an 88% return on your investment because after you pay off your little mortgage, I still believe you guys are going to be clearing 3300 bucks a year and now that's with a turnkey property that's got a new roof got a new furnace got a new hot water tank and got a section 8 tenant in there and if you go back to the chart right back to the chart guys where we go over all the numbers here we are still still saving six hundred dollars a year for our capital expenditures for the roofs the hot water tanks the furnaces right those two that furnace and that roof those are going to last 30 years so we don't have to spend money for another 30 years on those but we're saving 600 because we know it's coming i didn't calculate that in our return right hot water tank 15 years from now we got to spend another g i didn't calculate that in our return in addition we're also saving 600 and 600 for repairs and maintenance and our vacancy and non-payment, right? Tenants do move in and out in this business, so we're saving a total of $1,800, right? There's an additional $1,800 that we are not calculating in our 88% return because I know that stuff's going to mess us up in the future. So, Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Moral of the story, listing agent seller jumped the gun. They screwed it up. I think they've done a terrible disservice by cutting off all owner-occupied buyers and all uninformed ed, uh, uninformed investor buyers, right? They, they should not have listed this at this time. They listed the property at an improper time. They tried to just dump it, which is why they went such a low price, but I think we could squeeze them even harder. So 30, 30, 60K all in, 75K appraisal. Boom. This one, dudes, is going to be a home run. That's why as soon as I saw it, I was like, I got to get this out to these guys because it was actually – uh, it's been on the market 25 days, okay? But it actually went off the market like immediately, then it came back on the market. So as soon as it came back on the market, I was like, I got to get this uh, to these guys. So, fellas, reply to the private link if you guys want to move forward with this uh, particular deal. Everybody else, if you're a brand new viewer to Holton Wise TV, I just need you to know this deal is not available. I sent this to Dave and Kale privately. I only release these deals publicly on Holton Wise TV when the dust settles and the deals are no longer available so you guys could all learn. So, free education, free, uh, you know, look and transparency, you know, a, a complete transparent look into the real estate investment space. That's what we do on Holton Wise TV. So if you just found us, 
uh, through Google or something like that. You can't buy this deal. You'll have to work with my team. So send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com if you want to work with us personally. But if you're just trying to learn, do yourself a solid smash that subscribe button so you can keep indulging in all of our free educational content, folks, because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.